customization is one of Inzoi's best features. But if you're looking for more than what the in-game tools have to offer, modding is the way to go. Official mod support is planned for Inzoi's May 2025 update, but with third-party mods, you can alter your experience right away. Here's how to download and install Nexus mods for Inzoi. If you haven't already, create a Nexus Mods account and log in. This will allow you to download any mods available on Nexus. Head to nexusmods.com and search for the Inzoi game page. From here, download the Inzoi mod enabler. This is required to allow other mods to work. Unzip the folder to open the contents, one folder called Blue Client. Drag and drop the Blue Client folder into the location where Inzoi is installed. An easy way to find the file path is to right-click on the game in your Steam library, select Manage, then Browse Local Files. Now open Blue Client, Content, and Packs. Create a new folder, use a special character tilde, followed by Mods. Browse the Inzoi Nexus Mods page to find and download the mods you want to install. Some of the most useful optimization mods are featured on the main page, but there are also fun mods for clothing and emotes, ways to change the visual aesthetic, and Zoe presets to choose from. New mods are being uploaded regularly by players every day. After you download a mod, unzip the folder to access the files. There are three mod installation methods, depending on the type of files you are installing. If you have a blue client folder, simply drag and drop it into the location where Inzoi is installed. This is the same process as before when installing the Inzoi mod enabler. The blue client folder will update with the new files you're dropping in. If you have pack files, drop these into the mods folder you created by opening blue client, content, packs, then mods. For 3D printed items, you will see a folder with a string of characters. You'll need to find Inzoi in your documents folder. This will be the file path you see on your screen whenever you save a snapshot in photo mode. Open Inzoi and look for a folder called AI Generated. Open it and go into My 3D Printer. If you've used the 3D printer in the game or downloaded a Canvas creation that uses this feature, then the needed folders will already be made. If not, you'll need to create the AI Generated folder and another folder inside called My 3D Printer. Drag and drop your downloaded mod folder into My 3D Printer to install it. Those are the general instructions to install mods, but always check the mod description to follow any provided steps. You can manage your mods by downloading Mods Manager for Inzoi on Nexus. Currently, this tool only works for pack mods, but more support is planned in future updates. When you open the Mod Manager for the first time, you'll need to set the file path for your Inzoi game folder. This is the same file path you found from going into your Steam library, selecting Manage, then Browse Local Files. To install pack files to the Mod Manager, click the plus button and select the pack or unextracted zip files. Alternatively, you can drag and drop the files directly into the app. Simply click to enable or disable mods or drag and drop them to the appropriate column. In the top left corner, there's a menu where you can manage the load order of mods with the top ones loading first. Inzoi is also a supported game for the Vortex Mod Manager from Nexus Mods. You can download Vortex on the Nexus website from the menus at the top of the screen. Not all mods are easily manageable from these applications though, so following the manual instructions will be your best bet. That's everything you need to know about installing third-party mods in Enzoi. You can continue to craft the perfect world for your Zoi with our How to Use Canvas video guide, or check out our growing wiki guide for more tips and tricks. For everything else video games, stick with IGN.